How's it going guys? Welcome to today's tutorial and today we're going to be going over type conversion. We're going to be making a tip calculator and it's going to tell us 10, 15, and 20 percent of the total bill so that you don't have to calculate yourself how much to tip. If your waiter and or waitress deserves a tip that is. So first of all we're going to document it with the doc string here and how you do that is first go ahead and uh, put your print statement here then you want to put triple quotes in between I mean on either side of your doc string and then this is your doc string right here and what you want to do you want to write what the program does or the name of the program what the program does and then how to use the program and any other information that you think may be valuable so first off let's get some input from the user right here we're going to get the input from the user and ask them how much was your bill you type in the number of your bill that's going to be stored in the variable bill right here and then next we're going to do the type conversion right here and what this does is it takes the variable bill which all input this input right here every time you see input the default that it returns is a string so we don't want a string because we're typing in a number so what we do is we take the variable of bill and we put the int function right before it and what that does is it converts it into an integer and then stores it into the new value of bill so there's no there's not two different bills this one just overwrites this one and you can also do this like you can nest it so let me just copy and paste here because I'm lazy so instead of doing this step and this step you can do it all in one step like this and now this right here is the exact same as both of these but I'm just doing it in two steps this time so that's easier to understand but just note that you can do it all in one step now we're going to do the actual calculations so here we take bill and we multiply it times 0.10 which if you can remember from math class 0.10 is the same as 10 percent so we store that into the value of 10 we store 15 percent in the value of 15 and we store 20 percent in the value of 20 and now we want to actually print these out so take right here this right here is just a string that just shows you or tells the user what the calculation and the number actually is or else you'd just be printing out a number and and the user wouldn't really know how it works so now go here in program just like this and that's your tip calculator so now let's go ahead and press F5 save it uh, alright now see here's your doc string I mean here's your doc string and this is the name what it does, how to use it. So how much was your bill? So type in a number. Let's say let's say we ate at an expensive restaurant and our bill was one hundred dollars, okay? So type in one hundred. And here you go. Ten percent is ten, fifteen is fifteen, twenty is twenty. That's exactly what we wanted. So now I'm gonna go back and run it again and show you what happens if we type in a number that's not gonna be uh, easy amount to calculate like 100 so let's say 66 okay you'll notice here 10 percent it says 6 instead of 6.6 .6. and that's because we converted it to an integer and not a float 
if you can remember integers are just like your integers in math and floats have decimal points and that's the difference so we can go back up here let me enter out of this real quick we can go back to our program let's see here okay we'll change int to float this is another type conversion here so change all these to float save it and now it looks the same but let's see what happens if we type the same 6.6 .6. now you'll notice instead of just 6.6 .6, it has this long 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 and that's because floats are stored differently in the computer floats aren't exact like integers are so you're gonna have to take that into consideration when you do use floats that it's not gonna pump out the exact number it's it's very very close to the same number but as you can see it kinda rounds it because the computer only stores it so far so there's your differences between integers and floats I'm going to go ahead and end the tutorial here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.